Hello, Space Geeks. We are getting closer to witnessing Mechazilla catch a booster in midair. Yes, you heard correctly. This goes beyond simply checking off the next flight on the schedule. It includes SpaceX formally incorporating the Super Heavy catch into the mission plans. Certainly, moving forward demands piloting the Millennium Falcon through an asteroid field there are significant obstacles to overcome. However, rest assured, SpaceX has thoroughly researched and prepared for all possible situations. So, how will this fantastic capture happen? What surprises does SpaceX have planned for the upcoming flight? Let's get started, and don't worry about fastening your seatbelt. Mechazilla has everything under control. SpaceX was quietly getting ready for their big showdown. But now they are fully prepared after the summer break, with late September and early October being very busy. Continuous integration and chopstick tests have demonstrated some very encouraging outcomes. After successfully completing the integration test on October 7th and the water deluge system test on October 8th, SpaceX set its sights on October 13th for the launch. However, the situation becomes more complex. The FAA, like a strict teacher, stated they will not issue the Flight 5 launch license until at least late November unless SpaceX follows FAA's flight protocols. However, the question persists. Has SpaceX abandoned the entire plan to catch the Super Heavy booster in midair? No, they are still pursuing it. They aim to release their major film before Avatar dominates the box office. SpaceX has finally announced the news that we had eagerly anticipated. A new step has been added to the Flight 5 launch process called the Super Heavy Landing Burn Shutdown and Catch Attempt, occurring 6 minutes and 56 seconds after liftoff. And can you believe it? That is way before anyone expected. Before, Super Heavy descended into the ocean between 7 and 8 minutes into the mission, and we had predicted the recovery would occur at around the 10 minute mark due to navigation and slowing down actions. However, based on SpaceX's schedule, everything following the stage separation will occur in only 4 minutes and 15 seconds. Quicker than touching down in the sea, when it comes to the actual catch, that's when things become even more insane. Super Heavy will return to the launch pad, positioning itself directly in the middle of the chopsticks. The engines will power off and the chopsticks will get to work, securing Super Heavy in place. After stabilizing, the chopsticks will spin and lower Super Heavy onto the orbital launch mount where it had lifted off from moments ago. If everything goes as planned, this advancement will bring SpaceX closer to Starship's goal of matching Falcon 9's launch frequency. However, here's the twist even though Falcon 9 only achieves partial reusability. SpaceX is striving for complete reusability with the full Starship experience of catching the Starship itself in upcoming missions. SpaceX's Flight 5 represents more than just a test, it lays the foundation for something greater. This mission not only includes the inaugural catch attempt of the Super Heavy Booster, but also signals SpaceX's commitment to advancing Starship's complete and swift reusability. What are some of the main concerns? We're returning Super Heavy to the launch site for retrieval, while Starship completes another re-entry and lands precisely in the Indian Ocean. SpaceX has significantly improved in various aspects, including hardware, software, launch, catch tower, and more. Engineers have dedicated countless years to the task, while technicians have invested tens of thousands of thousands of hours in refining the infrastructure for this vital capture endeavor. The message is clear and strong safety should not be compromised by taking shortcuts. The booster catch will only occur when conditions are perfect. Elon Musk, in his usual daring manner, stated that they will proceed with the catch only if all is going well. In classic science fiction style, there is a contingency plan in place if the catch doesn't work out, Super Heavy could still manage a smooth splashdown. Prior to the catch attempt, the flight director must provide a manual approval and numerous checks must be successfully completed, ranging from the condition of the booster to the preparedness of the tower. In case any warning signs appear before the boost back burn, Super Heavy will resort to a gentle splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Whether it's a Matrix-style grab or a chill ocean dive, we're definitely in for an exciting spectacle. Therefore, SpaceX will not jeopardize everything if the stakes are too high human safety and the launch system are always the top priority. However, ultimately, the FAA has the final say. In the middle of August, SpaceX revealed new information about their upcoming Starship Super Heavy Flight 5 mission. The FAA is still examining this information, intending to grant a license once all requirements are met, although somewhat unclear. This is actually a positive indication. Hopefully all will go smoothly through the approval and preparation process, allowing us to witness the launch of this beauty in October. Next, we will go over the remaining steps of the flight. 75 minutes prior to departure, the SpaceX flight director will touch base with the crew and authorized propellant loading. Following that, the ship will be filled with liquid methane and liquid oxygen, 
along with Super Heavy, which will require approximately 47 minutes. The ship completes fueling at T minus three minutes and 20 seconds, while the booster finishes at T minus two minutes and 50 seconds. At this time, a necessary precaution is taken to ensure that the engines and fuel are at the right temperature. The director will authorize the launch 30 seconds prior to liftoff. 10 seconds after launch, the flame deflector or water deluge system begins operating to control the heat and pressure. Just before liftoff, the Raptor engines will ignite one after the other, beginning with the inner and middle rings before moving on to the outer ring. In an instant, Starship Flight 5 will ascend into the air. Okay, apart from the exciting super heavy capture or landing in the water, the remainder of the flight schedule remains largely consistent with past tests. Once the spacecraft takes off, it will reach max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, just one minute into the journey. At two minutes and 33 seconds after launch, the main engines of the Super Heavy will turn off, allowing the ship's engines to start, and then the hot staging system will manage stage separation at two minutes and 41 seconds after launch. After separating, the Super Heavy starts its boost back burn, guiding the rocket for approximately one minute. Currently, this flight continues to feature the hot staging jettison procedure, adding a surprising twist worthy of M. Night Shyamalan. SpaceX asserts that this decreases the weight of the booster and improves the landing process. With their focus on achieving complete reusability, SpaceX is sure to continue making adjustments for upcoming missions. After the discard, Super Heavy accelerates to supersonic speed and initiates the landing burn. The movements occur slightly earlier than in Flight 4, possibly due to Mechazilla's arm catch or splashdown antics happening sooner, shifting focus to the ship's voyage. After approximately 8 minutes and 27 seconds, the ship's engine shuts off, preparing to enter orbit and start a journey that will last 40 minutes. SpaceX has not yet ignited the engine while in space, a process they did not do in previous missions. Following an extended journey through space, SpaceX's climax starts at T plus 48 minutes and 3 seconds as the spacecraft starts its intense re-entry into the atmosphere. After 15 minutes pass quickly, we transition to higher speeds, initially breaking the sound barrier and then slowing down approaching the exciting landing stage. Exactly one hour, five minutes and 15 seconds after T, the ship will perform its iconic landing flip similar to space gymnastics, preparing for the last burn. Just five seconds later, the ship will land in the ocean, concluding the mission with a splash rather than an explosion, concluding with a neat little bow. Let's move forward. Despite timelines possibly fluctuating, SpaceX's careful preparations are greatly increasing confidence. They have been somewhat secretive about the enhancements made to the Super Heavy, but they did reveal some details about new advanced technology software and adjustments to the tower, which have taken years to develop and required thousands of technician hours. In the meantime, the ship also received an upgrade with more than 12,000 hours spent applying advanced thermal tiles and additional layers of protection. Preparations are well underway for what could potentially be a monumental new milestone in space history as the launch date approaches rapidly like a Marvel movie marathon. What are your thoughts on it? Do let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more epic space drama.